the supercars in Mayweather's garage. When the door to Mayweather's garage opens, the surprise that will hit you might as well leave you partially impaired due to severe shock. This garage is better than any showroom you'll ever visit. Reason being? It's only stocked with expensive, luxurious brands. This guy doesn't do average for sure. Depending on the brand name, the fleet of neatly arranged cars will leave you asking yourself questions as to why inequality is so unforgiving. When it comes to cars, Mayweather has specific brands that he prefers, all being high-end sports cars. He owns about 50 of them. In his garage, you will find a collection of Rolls-Royce, a collection of Bentleys, a collection of Bugatti, a collection of Mercedes-Benz, a collection of Lamborghinis, and a collection of Ferraris. The most expensive home on the planet. In the inner city of Mumbai, India, not far from the poverty-stricken slums, on the renowned Altamont Road, stands Antilia, the most expensive home ever created. This home ascends 27 stories, stretching 568 feet high, granting the massive structure with prime views of the Arabian Sea. In technical terms, the home is the second most expensive residential property in the world, considering Buckingham Palace is worth around 5 billion US dollars. However, Buckingham Palace is considered a crown property, whereas Antilia is a private residence. And the most expensive private residential property at that, with some pricing estimates as high as $2 billion. Even still, any list in which a residence is preceded by Buckingham Palace pretty much guarantees that place is going to be over-the-top luxurious and is likely a house I'd love to move into. In this video, I'll take you on a virtual, informative tour of this ostentatious estate while engaging all of two of your senses. In this massive home, there are several ceilings that are double or triple heighted, so the 27-floored skyscraper looks more like a 50 or 60-floored building. Can you imagine only being as tall as an ordinary 27-floor building? <laughs> Laughable. On some of the lower floors, there is a multi-level car lot that can hold 168 vehicles, including Mukesh's precious RS5 Craw Maybach, a car for very important people. Somewhere in that car lot is also a car service station. But if cars aren't your style, don't worry. The home also has three helipads placed on the roof. Few things say billionaire like more than one helipad on the roof. Both the private car lot and helipads are violations of residential bylaws in Mumbai, but from what we can tell, no one has forced the billionaire's hand to make any changes. This is Michael Jackson's favorite shop in Las Vegas with the luckiest manager in the world. I bought that. You bought that? The Globe? Yeah. Right. Why do you go upstairs? Yeah. We're taking you upstairs. Hi. What's this? What's this? Uh-huh. What's this one? This one? About midnight. This one? How about this table? This chess set. Isn't it beautiful, this set? Your chess set in, in your library is... No, this one's bigger. This, this is one's bigger. bigger. Wow. Oh, it's sold, look. How about this one, right? 
Is this yours? Yeah, that's the soul sign mean it's for me. Okay, how much is that one? Did we ever get this oh. one, these ones? It's only 89,000. No. Can you put that on the list? Of course. Get your pin just so you can mark and not forget. I'm getting I... the uh, list now. Okay, did we get those? I don't believe so. I like those. Okay. Why don't we order those? Right. Yeah, I like the. You've got enough of space for all of this. Yeah, Michael. I do. You've got space. Yeah. What's up? You try hard. I, cause I want you. That's what I'm saying. I gotta continue walking. I gotta get my steps in. All right. That's crazy. <laughs> she told me I gotta get my steps in. <sighs> I never tried to hop in my car this way before. Oh, it worked. <sighs> Let's see if I can make her come. <laughs> She's so goddamn animated. Oh my God. Let's see if let's let's see if her boyfriend is gonna approve this. Uh, yeah, you like it? Yeah. You ever been in one of these? No. You wanna get in and check it out? Sure. Sure. I don't wanna scratch it. You ain't gonna scratch it. It's nice. Okay. Our good friend Chris Hemsworth. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I just needed something to be wrong with him. And there was nothing. nothing. Oh my yeah. God. <laughs> He's hot, man. Can I just say, I think. <laughs> it's too. Is he here? I know. Um, oh, God. Oh. God. He's ridiculous, the, but he's the Damn. nicest. Yes, he's so, he's so funny. nice and he's so funny. Such like a good it's improviser. Too, like it's too much. Is Chris as dreamy and wonderful as we all assume he is? <sighs> he's pretty. <laughs> he is pretty. Not gonna lie, that boy is pretty. <laughs> Chris Hemsworth has six abs. I think he's got I nine. See. He's probably got nine. nine. He's got so many that's almost like a one pack at this point. Are you an alien? No, How do people have eight abs? Let's see. I'm sexy and I know it. Okay. So I just got back after a night of drinking. And look at these. Did they have to give me these mini nachos? No. Okay. Because I'm going to eat them all. Mmm. Mmm. I'm not gonna be able to eat all of this. I mean, I look like I can eat all of this, but I can't. I promise. I can't. Mm. It's not like I'm just going out and like randomly eating whatever I want. Like, I do plan. And I got what they're known for. They make everything there is their Midwestern style frozen custard. I've never had a frozen custard. Mmm. Mmm. My pizza is so good. Mmm. Oh, that's my good. Mmm. With the garlicness of the Domino's crust. Mmm. So freaking good. My chip, I just like some plain ruffles. But I'm, I am super picky, you guys already know. The kind I like to shake out of my bag. And there's not that many in here. Brand new bag, where are you? Oh my god, we're gonna eat off the doubles out? I think I put too much seasoning on it. 
<coughs> yeah, definitely put too much seasoning on this. A local family sharing a special story of hope this Father's Day weekend. Medical reporter Liz Bonas shows us why they want others to know there is such a thing as sexual healing. We got the most amazing news in the world <laughs> that we were pregnant. And it was, I was the happiest woman <laughs> in the world, it felt like at the time. And, and then later on that evening, it went from the happiest day of our life to the, the hardest day. When we first introduced you to Aaron and Scott Wilson a few months ago, they shared with us a very personal story that nearly cost them their marriage. The Lord takes you through a lot to heal but it's worth every bit of it. Scott said he was destroying lives due to a sexual addiction, and after multiple extramarital affairs, he and Aaron sought help through Pure Life Ministries in Williamstown, Kentucky. Pure Life Ministries is a Christian counseling organization for people who are dealing with sexual sin, and we've got a variety of programs, a nine-month residential program, a, a three-month at-home counseling program for men and women who struggle with sexual sin, and then also for wives. This week, Nate Dancer from Pure Life, along with Aaron and Scott, returned to our local 12 studios to share more of their story. They told us more about it on our Sunday morning program, What's Happening in Health. Every situation is very different. Well, they all admit that every story is different. This Father's Day weekend, they also want all of us to know. If you or anyone in your family is struggling with a sexual addiction or unhealthy sexual behavior. I'm probably thinking there really probably isn't hope or I'm always just going to be this way because I would have been like, I was like that. And, and, but, but I want people to know that there is hope. I'm a living testimony of what God can do and he can change hearts and my heart and my husband's heart and our marriage. Everything across the board, our communication, the way we parent, everything is just better. <laughs>
I present myself humbly before you. Please make me a recipient of your mercy. Father, your word says in Ezekiel 33 verse 11 that you don't have any pleasures in the death of a sinner, but that he turns from his sins and lives. I hereby confess my unrighteousness and misdeeds before you, for unto you and to you alone have I sinned and done wickedly. I have broken your orders and transgressed your laws. Please forgive me, Lord. Like the publican in Luke 18 verse 13 to 14, who could not lift up his eyes to you for the greatness of his sins, so have I come. My good works cannot justify me, but your precious blood can. Lord Jesus, wash me and I will be clean. Pardon me and I shall be forgiven. I come before you in the name of Jesus Christ and confess every sin and transgression I have committed before you, O Lord. Have mercy on me, Father. Everything that I have done knowingly and unknowingly that does not meet the standards of your word, I ask that you may have mercy upon me, Lord God Almighty. Forgive me, Father. Lord, your word says that you will in no wise cast away anyone that comes to you. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not withdraw your Holy Spirit from me. Remember the sacrifice of your Son, Jesus Christ on the cross, and pardon my sins. Let your mercy avail of me, O Lord. I'm tired of rising and falling, Lord. Help me to stand firmly for you. I don't want to keep hurting your heart, Lord. Deliver me from all my besetting sins. I receive the grace to walk triumphantly over sin like you did while you were physically on earth. Lord, I want to testify like Apostle Paul that I'm more than a conqueror over sin. Help me, Lord, to set my affection on things that are eternal rather on mundane things. It says in your holy word in 1 Samuel 2 verse 9, he will keep the feet of his saints, and the wicked shall be silent in darkness, for by strength shall no man prevail. Many times, Lord, I have made resolutions not to sin again, but I have come to a dead end. My strength will ever fail me. I keep sinning even when I know it's the wrong thing to do. I know what is right, but I lack the strength to do it. Lord, it is you alone that can keep a man from falling. Not falling is not by might nor by power, but by your Spirit. Forgive me for the times I have sinned and grieved the Holy Spirit. I'm so sorry, Lord. I am that I have tried to get my own way and follow my own interests without you. Please forgive me, Holy Spirit. I yield myself before you. I surrender to your Spirit, Father, and ask that he operates in all aspects of my life, that I may not fail you, Lord God Almighty. I surrender to the Holy Spirit, so that I am able to do what your word says in Galatians 5 verse 16. To walk by the Spirit, so that I will not gratify the desires of the flesh. Lord, I desire to live a life in the Spirit, to live a life whereby I am tender to your Spirit. Let not my heart be hard like Pharaoh's heart in Exodus, but let my heart be tender towards you. I love you. Lord God Almighty, with all my heart, with everything that this in, but I cannot live a life according to your standards without you, Holy Spirit. Work in me, Father, in Jesus' name. To do and act righteously is not in any mortal man. Only you, Lord, can impart the strength for righteous living. I therefore cling to you and plead for the forgiveness of my past sins. I also ask for strength and grace to sin no more. Your word says in Jeremiah 31 verse 34, And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor, and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me, from the least of them unto the greatest of them, saith the Lord, for I will forgive their iniquity, and I will remember their sin no more. These are your word, Lord God Almighty. I humbly ask for the fulfillment of the scripture in my life, as you have also promised in Isaiah 1, verse 18, that you will wash me and make me clean as white as snow. I ask that you blot out my sins and never remember them. Help me to know you more and impute your fear in me in Jesus' name. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, 
according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies blot out my transgressions. Wash me throughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only, have I sinned, and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest, and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part thou shalt make me though no wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness, that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. Amen.